Joining us now is terror expert Dr. Eli Karmon to analyze what kind of impact the latest terror attack in Turkey will have on both Israel and the world. Thanks for coming in. Hello. So to begin, you know, we're hearing uh, these rumors that the Islamic State is responsible for the attack. Is this true? It's not rumors. It's the Prime Minister of uh, uh, Turkey which uh, hinted at this uh, possibility. Uh, the biggest attack in Turkey the last year have been staged by uh, the Islamic State uh, in July and uh, October last year. And there is even now a very big trial of 36 members of uh, ISIS because of this uh, participation in the October 2005 attack. So, you know, why has Turkey been the site of so many of these attacks in the past year? Uh, Turkey has uh, uh, actually two main enemies now, the Kurds, especially the PKK organization in Turkey, and the ISIS. Uh, until uh, two years ago, there was a negotiating process with the Kurds, so they didn't participate in terrorist attacks. And there was an ambiguous uh, po uh, policy of the Turkish government vis-a-vis -vis ISIS. Uh, even uh, weapons were passed to them, probably by the uh, Turkish intelligence. Uh, foreign fighters almost freely uh, passed from Turkey to Syria, Iraq, and vice versa. But the last year, Turkey, under American pressure, uh, under pressure of uh, the Gulf states, and even the Russian intervention now, has decided to fight all out against ISIS. And that's why ISIS now is fighting uh, all out Turkey. Interesting. This afternoon, uh, yeah. as we all know, the Israeli-Turkish Reconciliation Agreement was finally approved by the Security Cabinet. Do you think that this attack in any way influenced the decision? And what influence will this agreement have on future terror attacks in the region? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, uh, there are forums, uh, jihadist forums, where some consider that this is a, a revenge of ISIS for the agreement not only with Israel but also with Russia and even negotiations with Egypt, which is another enemy of, uh, of the jihadists. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, it takes time to organize such a big attack. So they were not exactly uh, prepared for this uh, day. It was a, perhaps a chance that it was this day. Uh, but clearly for uh, ISIS, we also are uh, enemies, but the most important threat from ISIS for Israel comes from Egypt, from the Sinai Peninsula, where uh, ISIS is very active. Let's talk about that. You know, yes. should Israel be worried about ISIS infiltrating? Uh, yes, we have already, uh, as I said, the attacks from uh, Egypt. Uh, two years ago, there were attacks uh, against the oil pipeline to, from Egypt to Israel. There were firing of uh, missiles and even an attempt to penetrate the is Israeli territory. Uh, but it was not successful, and lately Egyptians are fighting very successfully or quite successfully against uh, ISIS. Uh, in uh, Syria itself, they are not really on our border. There are other groups which are on our border of the Golan. Uh, so for the moment, it is not the main threat terrorist threat, but clearly they could attack, for instance, it is uh, thought that they attack in uh, March this year, where four Israeli tourists were uh, killed in Istanbul, was probably the, uh, an attack staged by ISIS. But they didn't take responsibility, by the way. Well, thank you for coming in, Dr. Kalman. Yeah. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you.